Do you have a hard time choosing paint colors? Have you ever had to repaint a room because the paint color you chose did not look at all how you thought it would? Choosing the wrong paint color is one of the most common decorating mistakes people make. So how do you choose the right paint color like a pro? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to choose paint colors you'll love every single time. <music> It can seem like a huge task to choose a paint color, especially if you've ever spent hours rolling paint onto the wall only to realize it's just not the right color at all. I often say it's just paint and it can be painted over, but paint has gotten more expensive along with everything else and I do feel your pain because of the time and money lost. I've chosen the wrong color paint too in the past. In fact, when we moved to this house, I repainted our master bedroom three times because I was rushing and didn't remember my own advice. My number one tip is don't choose your paint first. I know sometimes you feel like you should go and choose your paint color first because it takes up most of the space in a room, the walls are huge, you know, it takes up a lot of space. But it's far easier to choose one of thousands of paint colors to go with the other things in your home than it is to choose those things furniture, decor, area rugs, things like that, to go with a paint color. So always choose the big things first. The flooring, the furniture, the area rugs, the curtains, the art even. Choose those before you choose the paint color. My second tip is to learn a little bit about undertones and color temperatures. Paint is made up of different colors. If you've ever watched them mix it at the store, you can see all the different colors of paint being dripped into the can. Those create undertones or color temperatures. A warm paint will have a color or undertone of a warm color, such as yellow or red. A cool paint color will have a base color or undertone of a cool color, like blue, green, or even gray. You can test the undertone of a paint color in two ways. So if you like a color, try this. Place a single swatch on a white piece of printer paper and see what color really comes out to you. This works especially well with white paint colors. Go check out my other video to see how specifically to choose white paint colors. Anyways, the second way is if the paint color is on a swatch with more than one color, look to the very bottom color. It will usually be much more saturated and therefore will show more of the true color undertones, whether it's cool or warm, yellow or you know pink or any of that. When you can see the undertones in a paint color, it makes it easier to choose one that will work in your home with your decor. My third tip is to never, ever, ever, ever choose paint colors at the store, ever. There's a story that I hear all the time. Someone goes to the paint or hardware store itching to do a makeover on a weekend, wanting to buy paint to start that makeover. They have a general idea of the color they want, you know, maybe a green or a blue or a red or a yellow, but they're not exactly sure of their paint colors yet. So they go to the, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, paint store, whatever. After some hemming and hawing, while they're standing there looking at all the options, they choose a color that they think that they love and get a gallon or two or three mix, depending on the size of the room. They are so excited to get that paint home and get that weekend DIY underway. But, oh my goodness, the but. But when they get home and start painting, the paint doesn't quite look like it did at the store. Something is very different. The reason for that is that they broke the biggest rule, the biggest tip I have, even though this comes third in my list, never, ever, ever, ever choose paint colors at the store. When we pick a paint color at the store, it's usually under what kind of lighting? Yellow fluorescent lighting, harsh and glaring, and very different than you're likely to have in your home. That lighting, that harsh fluorescent lighting, changes the way that paint color looks to your eyes in the store and how you see those undertones that we talked about already, the paint color you chose at the store will simply never look the same once you get it into your home. So never choose the paint color at the store. My fourth tip for choosing paint colors is to try an inspiration piece. One of my favorite hacks, especially for beginners, is to choose colors for your home pulled out of an inspiration piece. That can be a piece of fabric you plan to use in the room, some bedding you plan to use in the room, an area rug, a piece of art, any of that. When you pull colors from that, you know that they will coordinate with everything else in the room. This is especially true of a paint color. So try pulling a paint color out of an inspiration piece. My fifth 
tip for choosing paint colors is to use the largest test swatch possible and test at home with accurate lighting. Pick up the largest swatches you can. So some stores have really big ones. There's also places online where you can order stick-on paint swatches in the color that you choose. Or you can get sample size testers and paint them onto a Bristol board and put those on the wall. Okay, so with your large paint swatches or your painted Bristol boards, look at all those large samples in all kinds of light, even move them around the room if you need to, to see what they'll look like on different walls and to see how they look in your space. The lighting in the room, lamps, ceiling lights, anything like that, plus natural lighting from windows will change how that paint swatch looks at different times of day. So live with it for a couple of days in all the light to see if you actually genuinely like that color. The larger the swatch, the easier it will be to determine which paint color looks best in your space. If you're in North America, self-facing rooms will tend to have warmer light due to the sun coming in every day. The natural light will be a yellowish white light and may wash out some colors. Even still, most paint colors will work in a room with southern exposure, but a cooler color may be preferred to balance out the yellower lighting. North facing rooms will have a cooler blue or gray natural lighting. For these spaces, you can use a cool color, but it may seem even cooler and more blue gray and chilly than it would in another room. That's what happened in my master bedroom. It's a north facing window with a pool in the backyard, so the lighting reflects very very, very cool in there. A warm paint color will probably be preferable in a northern facing room. East and west facing rooms will either have warmer cool lighting depending on the time of day as the sun goes over the house. So you could use either warm or cool colors in an east or west facing room. Choosing paint colors doesn't have to be quite so painful if you follow these simple tips. Don't choose your paint color first. Make sure all your other decor is chosen before you choose your paint color. Remember, the paint is made up of several base colors and those will show through in what is called undertones. If you can identify the undertones in a paint color, you'll be better able to choose one that works with your decor. Never choose a paint color at the store because the lighting there will always be different than it is at your house always, so never ever choose a paint color at the store. Lighting changes how paint colors look, so always test your paint colors at home, in the room you'll be painting, and look at it in different lighting before committing to painting the whole room. And if you're stumped on what paint color to choose, match colors to an inspiration piece like an area rug, a piece of art, or a fabric you love and are planning to use in the room you're painting. These tips will make choosing a paint color so much easier. If you like this video and want more ideas and inspiration for how to create a more stylish and organized home you love, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss any new videos.